Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Shira Star Hobby. Today I will be showing my painting of this little guy and my enhancement of this little guy. I did some Google searches and found out that this um, is basically a snowy owl. Um, I found a picture that looks exactly like his face is right now with his eyes closed and he looks like he's smiling. Super adorable. Um, so of course the coloring that uh, the artist did on him is actually spot on with the type of owl that he is. Um, so now I'm kind of hesitant to do more on him because technically this is exactly what a snowy owl looks like. Um, but I did, I really do want to add some browns in there um, and make him look a little bit more magical since he is, um, you know, a fantasy owl in my story anyway. Um, you know, if, if, if he's living in an Eden sphere, um, the world created by um, at Sight Hound Lady, then he is a fey creature of some kind because those are the only creatures allowed into Eden Sphere. Um, so he must be some sort of fantasy owl and I want him to, you know, show that. So I, I will probably still do some, some browns and some, maybe some golds on him and hopefully um, he'll look a little bit more magical so that I can use him in photos with my uh, Prince Oscar slash Trafari. Um, I brought Maury. His name is Maury. Um, I brought him down for inspiration, uh, but at the same time, um, I really don't want this little guy looking exactly like him. I want him to look completely different. So um, I think I just brought him down here because he's so stinking cute and um, and I can just use him as a reference uh, because Sheena did such a wonderful job painting him. And so, um, if anything, he's just here to hang out with me. But um, I hope that um, this goes well. Um, I'm kind of winging it with the little moss thing because I just, you know, Googled uh, fantasy, moss, forest, fantasy. Like, I just... Put all those words together and 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 had and pressed search and and just kind of you know waited to see what google came up with and um there wasn't anything in specific that stood out to me that i wanted to try to replicate on the baby mossling so i'm just gonna start playing with colors and see what happens with him um so we will start painting here in a little bit and um, I will probably end up, you know, speeding up most of the of the paintwork um, because I think it's just, it's just going to take too long uh, to let it f play out uh, fully, and um, and that way I'll be able to um, show you guys kind of like the beginning to end in one video instead of splitting it up because it's too long. So um, I will start. Uh, painting in the next little bit. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys later.
Hi guys. So this is the last part of my Mossling painting video. Um, it took a while uh, because I had to wait in between layers, uh, you know, for the ceiling. Um, and so it, instead of waiting a half an hour, which is what the Mr. Super Clear says to wait, um, I decided to just wait the, the day. So I would literally um, put them outside, spray them, and then let him dry all day long because um, even though, like I said, this, the Mr. Super Clear says, you know, you can spray after every 30 minutes, um, I just don't think that's enough time. Um, and I've noticed that uh, the chipping of the paint starts to happen when I don't l let it sit long enough. Um, and so I really wanted to do a good job with these two. And so, um, basically the whole week, uh, since today's Saturday, um, the whole week I've spent, you know, painting a layer and then spraying it and then waiting the, the day and then having to do that, you know, all day long, every day. So anyway, it took a lot longer than I expected. Um, but I wanted to do a good job, like I said. And so I went ahead um, and finished most of it off camera um, because this video would have been way too long had I recorded everything. It was mostly just finishing touches um, that I did off camera. You saw the majority of the paint of the paint work um, that I did. Um, so first things first, let's look at the owl. So here's my little owl, which I went ahead and like pronounced the sculpting on his face. I did some browns in there. I did some golds. Um, I added some gold feathers here on his tail. And then um, some gold feathers here on his chest. And um, I made his little beak gold too. And then I, you know, I just, I made his eyes a little bit um, more darker, I guess. Um, and I love the way he turned out. I think he looks really cute with just those little bit of flecks of gold. Um, and I think he'll, he'll look really sweet in pictures with Trafari once I have their treehouse um, made and all that good stuff. So he looks pretty happy. <laughs> I love these little guys, uh, sculpted by, um, Daisy Days and, uh, she does a whole bunch of critters. She's got she's got a chicken that I love. Um, she's got like baby goats. Um, I want to say she's got ponies. I know she's got puppies and kitties for sure. They're just so super cute. Um, but I like these these like just like the full on resin without without the stringing or anything like that because she does have like the like the strong you know animal BJDs. But I, I like these these just little resin critters. Um, that, you know, that look real enough to, to look in pictures, but then um, you can just kind of put them on a shelf too, so. So he turned out really sweet. My little Mossling Mori's hanging out with Trafari. And so then the baby Mossling um, is also sculpted by Goblin Tails BJD, who, you know, did such an amazing job with the actual mossling. Um, I've been seeing a lot of, um, since the, you know, since she just shipped out all her pre-orders, um, of the spring and the autumn mosslings, they're all making it home. And so she's been sharing, you know, pictures in her, in her Instagram stories. And they're just so cute because they have so many expressions, you know, their faces, they have five different face plates. And, um, and of course people, paint them in so many cool ways so I just I love looking through her stories uh, because uh, they're just the cutest little things and I'm so glad that I have one in my collection um, and one that's a rare color because he's he's called Poplar um, and he's one of the rare colors that she only you know offered I don't know maybe once or twice uh, so my little Mori guy is super special but 
I also love this little baby moss thing, which I had no idea existed until Allison showed me. Um, and she only sells these at doll shows. So I forget which doll show Allison bought him at. I It's got to be Elle Doll when she went in 2018. I'm pretty sure that's when she got him and because I'm I think she got a couple of them because there's maybe different positions um so I started off with the gold thinking that that was the only accent work I wanted on him um but I really wanted to give him a m mushroom effect uh which is why I kind of went crazy with the white dots but I love him especially the ones right under his eyes um, I think he's so special. I just love the way he turned out. I love the back of his ears spotted as well. Um, that was, you know, this was a lot of the detail work that I did off camera. Um, but I love, I just love him. He just, he turned out so stinking adorable. Um, I can't even wait to like, I kind of want to make him like a little, almost like a like a cradle like a like a baby cradle in in the treehouse where he where he will lay um but yeah he turned out just so super cute and my, like my paint job isn't the greatest but for me I'm pretty happy with with how he turned out so um this video uh like I said it's it's kind of all over the place the the lighting wasn't great uh when i was filming and you know i was like off camera for a lot of it so if you made it this far i appreciate it um i hope that you guys enjoyed uh my attempt at painting <laughs> um he was a lot of fun to paint though um and so i would love to have more resin critters like these to to paint um because you just, you know, you can just have fun with it. You don't have to uh, think too hard. Like like with a face up, you have to like really focus on getting the lines straight and making sure that the eyelashes aren't too long or the eyebrows aren't crazy. Like with face ups, it's just a lot more work, <laughs> um, which is why I send mine out. To someone else <laughs> because I just I just don't have the patience I think is, is is what it is um which I mean I tried you know I tried to have patience to do face-ups but like oh I just I see all these other amazing artists and I'm just like but 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 <laughs> but I want my doll painted by them <laughs> um yeah so anyway <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching um i will post some photos at the end so you can see him with uh with trafari and with his brother mossling uh, mori um he needs a name still so i'm not sure what to name him but um he's just so super cute and uh and i hope that you guys uh like and subscribe and leave me comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye